After a barnstorming 2009, Jared Hayne is now regarded as the world's best rugby league player. Eels fans have been buoyed by the recent news that Parramatta has tied him up for a further three seasons. The player himself says it's great to have contract negotiations completed. Yeah, it's good to get it out of the way before the, the season started, so i um, just focus on my footy now. Delighted to be an Eel for another few years. Yeah, it was always going to be the case. Uh, you know, I grew up here and played in my, my whole career, so it would have been hard to leave. How do you describe last season for you personally? Whirlwind? Yeah, oh, it's a bit, a bit hard to describe it in, in one word. So, yeah, I did some uh, some things I'm you know, really, really proud of and uh, hopefully I can build on that in the coming, coming year. How much better can you be? Uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, at the age you're at, there's probably improvement still in you and that's a scary thought for opposition sides. Yeah, I just got to improve on my game from, from last year and um, you know, things obviously I learned and you know, hopefully I can, I can get better. Has the off-season this year been tougher physically on the players than last year? No, I don't think it has. Um, it was a, the boys only got a, you know, sort of a, a short break sort of from, from the grand final. I think you know, we went back before some, some clubs that were playing in, um, you know, in the final series went back. So it was, uh, it was more to sort of just keep the fitness you know, at, a, at a sort of sustainable level and you not know, to drop off too much. So I think um, the, the sessions sort of haven't been too hard. There is, there is sessions where um, the, it, is, it does get a bit tougher, probably not as many as last year. You believe the side overall improved on 2009? Yeah, I hope so. Um, I think sort of obviously our start and our start to the season. So hopefully that can that can pick up and we can um, kick off uh, you know, 210 a bit better. Yes, indeed. Nice to catch up with Jared Hayne late on today's program, albeit briefly what a player he is. And Eels fans hoping he can produce the sort of form this year that we saw in 2009. Right now in Rugby League Summertime, it's time to check out the club's gains and losses. We'll look at the gains first of all. Justin Poor, whom we've spoken with today. Shane Shackleton from the Roosters. Tamana Tahu, obviously. And Tom Humble from the Cowboys. In the losses department, Broderick Wright. Talima, Tautai, both have gone to the Sharks. Josh Cordoba to Hull. Joe Nullabout to Manly. Jeremy Lattimore to the Warriors. Todd Lowry to the Storm. And Kevin Kingston leaking up with the Penrith Panthers. Now, in terms of pre season trials on the radar for the Eels, there are three fixtures. On February 14, they face the Dragons. That's at Members Equity Stadium in Perth, a 2.30 p.m. kickoff. On Saturday, February 20, they tackle the Panthers. That clash at CUA Stadium, 7.30 kickoff. And then the following weekend, they tackle the Roosters at Blue Tongue Stadium in Gosford, also a 7.30 p.m. kickoff. Do hope you've enjoyed this look behind the scenes at the Parramatta Eels on today's episode of Rugby League Summertime. Hope you can join me next week when we link up with the Bulldogs. Thanks for your company today. We'll see you on Fox Sports next time.